What's up guys? Today we're watching season 4 episode 3 of Breaking Bad. So the last episode was kind of a bit, you know, Jesse was trying to keep like people around him and everything because he's still trying to like cope with having to kill Gail. So you know, he started hanging out again with Skinny Pete and Badger, you know, they were throwing parties, they were having a good time. And while they were doing that, Walter was, you know, buying a gun. He was getting something to help keep him safe. And he also was basically just planning to kill Gus, but Mike wouldn't help him with that. And Mike ended up punching him in the face for like bothering him about that shit anyway. But yeah, I don't really know what's gonna happen this episode. I don't know what to guess what's gonna happen. So I guess let's just get into it. You had to kill the man that made that thing. I don't know why. I just got kind of mad that he was smiling at it. Gail made that coffee thing and he died. And I'm just noticing his black eye. Oh, he put cameras in there. That's what I just realized. I was like, why are you even mad? So it follows you anywhere you go. Oh god, that shit's gonna drive him crazy. But it's like now Jesse can't even like steal any more of like the extra meth that they make. Not that he was like doing it lately anyway, but he can't really try again. Ah! Uh, what is going on with you? I've left you like 23 meth. I was low-key starting to think that he wasn't home, but... At the car wash. You know, Skylar, now is not a good time for me, okay? Can we talk about this later? No. Okay, we can't. Why is she so persistent about it? What happened? It's complicated, and I don't wish to discuss it. It's none of your concern. Are you in danger? Man's always in danger. What do you mean? Then thinking about buying a damn car wash, okay? So if you could just please. She's just being really persistent about it and I get that it's it would help him and shit, but he's going through other shit too. We, we tell them everything that you're a drug dealer. Afraid for your safety what? and, and whoa, the safety whoa, of your family, whoa, whoa, and you whoa, need you need you, help. Whoa, whoa. No, that's kind of what he's trying to avoid. The handle when I saw that, okay? Where'd that come from? Hmm? A fall in the shower? Uh, yeah. Minor little incident, and now you're telling me to I should turn myself into the police for God's sake. A minor little incident. Yes. What minor little incident? Not falling in the shower, but you know, falling into Mike's fist, you know. And it got heated and out of control, and he hit me once. And I didn't retaliate because he's a much older man. And that's. Or maybe because. I don't even know if you would be able to land a hit on Mike. And I think in the end that it may have been a good thing, actually, because we were able to clear the air and, you know, mutual respect. I don't know about the mutual respect. Absolutely. So. Car wash. So now he's going to talk about the car wash. Okay. 
So, what do you think? Oh, very nice. Very open. Oh. What is she even looking at? Is this... Is she looking at a new house? Tori Costner. It's nice to meet you. Well, three bedrooms, one and a half... Fake name. Okay. As a matter of fact, a little boy. Oh, how old? Uh, he turned four in May. He's a Gemini. Would love this yard. Oh, well, <laughs> plenty of space for a jungle, Jim. She's lying out of her ass. A quarter bath, so make a perfect studio. This could work. But it's like, can she afford it? Or is she gonna ask them for help? I don't know. Or maybe she thinks it would make Hank happier. I don't know. I don't know what can go through her head. Wait, I... I must have said Cheetos like 10 times. You need me to write it down for you? No, and I don't need you to be mean about it either, Miss facts bro like mm, i'm trying to let it go hank you want to do something do something like what uh, go karts you want to hang with them <laughs> no actually i meeting so ah, whatever that's sad did he just get that tattoo or maybe i'm tripping he always had it but i feel like it's new anyways irrelevant how you doing good yeah and that's a blatant lie Not to say you, uh, you get used to it, but you do kind of get used to it. It was, I don't, I wonder if it's actually going to happen to him a lot more. Because it could be a, a one-time thing, but then again, like in the business that he's in, you never know. It cures an enzyme peels. Oh yeah, go ahead, pinch yourself. <laughs> We're not buying a nail salon, Mr. Goodman. We're getting the car wash. I'm so He was trying to pitch the freaking nail salon to them instead of Jesse now. You were smart to call me. Now, you just sit back, relax, and let a professional take over. That's for me. Who even is that? Sure, the top of the stairs. He'll be quick. It's a stomach thing. <laughs> oh, Agent Hoover, I gotta tell you, I've seen some real Islamic comings and goings over there at the car wash. Yeah, I mean, guys in turbans pulling up in vans and stuff like that. Saul, the fuck? Attitude adjustment. Oh, no, that, no, that is not at all what I meant. I, we do not do that. That's not who we are, right? Yeah, no. You were thinking about it, Walter. I do. I say it has to. Why? I just do. Like, it makes sense since he used to work there and shit, but you never know. Walt can back me up on this. The uh, number one rule is don't take things personally. What do you, what do you mean, rude about me? He didn't like the way you talked about him. You weren't man enough to face him yourself. What? That you had to send your woman to do your business for you. Maybe you should have told him that before and he would have went. A non-violent, unsuspicious way to purchase the car wash. That, that protects the innocent and doesn't cost $20 million. In what way is that gonna be? <laughs> Owns. Yes, the owner is quite the collector. Aren't they something? 
one for each of the 50 states. I, Puerto Rico is technically a territory. In career that must have been for him. It was. I mean, NASA was like a second family to us, but, you know. She's really looking through everything. She took one of the spoons. So Jesse went go-karting by himself. Check it out. Is that his own house? What the hell is he turning his house into? It's easy to pick up and go. That was before my youngest, Lucy, was diagnosed with endocarditis. Oh my gosh, is, is that uh... It's a- Oh my god. I just noticed the ladies right there. What, Spoon, what are you talking about? You're a thief. Excuse me? And a liar making stories up about yourself. What's wrong with you? No, what's the- Well, she does that, but did she actually steal the spoon? Oh my god, you let go of that! Let it go! Let it go! Let it go! She stole a picture. Would you stop crying? I thought she was getting help for doing that shit. So, we're good to go. You ready? I wonder if like the stuff with Hank is like causing her to go back to it like i don't know <laughs> man i just feel so bad for her yes it's skylar white calling for saul goodman please Yes, it is important. What dinged in her head? Like, I don't, I don't understand. You cannot shut me down. You cannot do this. Miss Wallace, I've checked your wastewater inside and out. I've checked your runoff gutters and now out here, more contaminants. They did that to him? To get him shut down? The state requires you to suspend all commercial activity until these levels reach the mandated minimums. What is usual, man? What is Gary? I look, you feel bad for the dude, cause that is his business, but... Tell me exact specific laws or I refuse. Specific. Right now. Laws. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 okay. Okay, the New Mexico Hazardous Waste Act of 1978, section 74. <laughs> The fact that she's in dude's ear, getting him to do that. Was that specific enough for you? I can't believe Skylar really came up with that, but that's still messed up a bit. Sweetie, you have a visitor. He said he wasn't hungry and he's eating. Thanks again for the other day, you know, this this whole thing, it's uh it's been hard on her. 
Forget it. Glad to help. You say that, yet you still treat her in a different way, like... I was a local talent, and you're a pal I just did a favor for, so let me pick your brain a sec. You ever come across a guy by the name of Gail Bedecker? Now Gail is coming into it. I, I was wondering when they were going to bring that up. Drawings, pages and pages of this stuff. It looks big time, but I'm no authority, so I wonder if you might take a look. Get Hank back on the case even though he's not working. Just take a look. Tell me what I got here. I'd really appreciate it. He just did you a favor, so... Well, it was a good try. He's about to call. I feel it. Or maybe I have a bad feeling. I don't know. It was a good idea. It was a great idea, but it didn't work. So why don't we simply chalk it up as a learning. So it was a bad idea, or maybe it's someone else. Please be the dude. White residents. Oh, hello, Mr. Wallenitz. Okay, then. Mr. Volanitz, you were rude to me and disrespectful towards my husband. And furthermore, I've met with quite a number of sellers and the market seems much softer than I thought, so... He thinks... he thinks she's blowing it. I'm sorry we couldn't make it work. Goodbye. What are you doing? I'm negotiating. He's gonna... he's gonna end up calling back. He has to. Well, he's not calling you back. I mean, you didn't honestly think that worked. Are you sure about that, though? No. What? No, just... What for? You don't want to seem too excited to answer the call. Make him wait a second. Hello? Hello, Mr. Volanitz. <laughs> so he called back. Hey. Money! <laughs> Pissing away his money. That's gonna come back to bite him in the ass or something like it has to. Someone's washing his house? Or wait, is that the dude from the other day? You see? I told you we'd get it. Did you? Mm hmm You were doubting her whole plan. Oh, did you, Walter White, an unemployed school teacher, pay for it? H how do you explain it? Skylar. No one saw me. Now it's another thing to worry about. We have no money. You are completely overreacting. Well, I'm not apologizing for wanting to celebrate in some small way. I'm not asking you to apologize. But someone's outside your house. Like, wasn't it outside his house or was it Jesse's? What I'm saying is the devil is in the details, okay? One little mistake, one slip up in our story. That could ruin us. I wonder if Hank is gonna like somehow tell him about Gail's lab notes. Like he has no reason to bring it up with Walter, but I don't know. Like how's he gonna find out about that too? Motion to uphold the decision and the findings of the EPC and the loophole. Any motion any second by Councilor Cook? Oh, 
So now Hank is looking into it and everything, man. Like, that dude coming in and giving that shit to Hank was a bad idea. Because sooner or later, they have to get caught. Like, and I guess you can say it's Gus's fault for wanting Walter in the first place. Because, like, yeah, they were cool at first. But then look at what had to happen. In order to keep him and Jesse safe, they had to kill Gail. Gail had lab notes that the police got. Now Hank's going to be looking into it and helping them. So it's like, I feel like it's a matter of time now before someone gets caught. Like, if they go this whole show without getting caught, I'm going to be so surprised. Like, I don't think it can go that way. But you never fucking know, you know? But... I swear, like, at least that's gonna give Hank something to do while he's just, like, laying there, recovering and shit, but I'm just, I'm also just surprised about what's happening with Marie. Well, I guess maybe not surprised, but it's like, she really went back to her stealing and shit from open houses, and it's like, why choose an open house? She used to do it in a store, not that that's, like, any better, but, like, she changed up her scenery and shit, and it was just weird, but I guess it's just, like, how Hank's been treating her lately, maybe, I'm not totally sure, but it's kind of understandable, because, like, I still feel bad that he's been treating her that way, like, it's bullshit, but you got tough times, so you gotta deal with it, but also... Skylar was great this episode to be honest like I was kind of aggravated that she was kind of being really persistent about getting the car wash and everything but Walt actually listened to her let her work her magic and bam now they got the freaking car wash so that's a big win to kind of help but you know I'm still kind of scared that like I feel like it's gonna be sometime soon maybe or maybe it's gonna be by like the end of the season, I don't know. Like, I feel like someone's gonna get caught by then. If it's not Walter, it'll be Jesse. And if Jesse gets caught, then that means Walter's going down too. Maybe. Cause it's like they're cool with each other, so like would would Jesse try to mend? I don't know. It's like I was low-key thinking he would. But now I'm kind of thinking he's not going to. But you never fucking know. Jesse's Jesse's going through a lot. Like, we saw his house. His house is screwed up. Like, it's a drug house. It made me feel uncomfortable just watching it. Like, I... All of that happened just because he killed Gail. And... I feel like I'm making it sound like a small thing, but killing a person is a big thing. And I just never thought it would take a toll like that, but I've never been through this situation, so I would never know. It affects people in different ways, and we're seeing how it affects Jesse, and I just, I just, I feel bad that it's happening to him like that. Like, I thought he would, you know, make that house cool, you know, decorate it with his own shit, and he'd be nice living large and shit, but... He's got other people in his house. One dude left with one of his... Was it like a toaster oven? I don't know. But like he left with it. He's throwing money. Letting people take it. Like... Mmm. Jesse needs some help. He's not gonna get help. But he needs help. We didn't even see Skinny Pete or Badger this episode surprisingly. Because like I thought they were gonna hang out with him again. But... Maybe they'll be there next episode. You never know. But, yeah, I'm not knowing, I don't know what to expect for the next episode, so I guess come back for episode four.